Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. The haters today are hilarious, criticizing President Trump and his summit with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un. Now, we knew the left would react like this. They hate everything President Trump does. I think we saw the true colors of the left during the State of the Union when President Trump celebrated the low, the record low unemployment rate for black Americans, and the Democrats refused to stand up or applaud for that. The left cannot admit President Trump is doing anything right, even when it's for the good of the American people. So that's not surprising that the left is condemning this meeting. It's just pathetic from the left. And my question is, what would you haters do differently with North Korea than Trump is doing? Oh no, wait, you already did differently and you failed. You had your chance to fix the North Korean problem under Obama and you failed. You had the chance to fix the North Korean threat under Bush and you failed then too. So what did President Trump do wrong? He didn't reduce sanctions, that's a good thing. He didn't send pallets of cash, that's a good thing. He didn't bow to the brutal tyrant, that's good. He said the U.S. will check to make sure, to verify that Kim Jong-un is actually getting rid of his nukes. I wish we could say that about Obama and the Iran deal. But the Iran deal was a disaster because Obama secretly paid off the tyrants in Iran with secret planes filled with our taxpayer money. He didn't even check to see if Iran stopped their nuke program. And newsflash, they didn't. And he didn't get anything in return. Oh, and Iran kept saying they wanted to wipe Israel off the face of the earth and called the U.S. the Great Satan. Not to mention Obama did nothing when Iran violated the deal four times and that it wasn't a violation of the terrible deal for Iran to keep developing ballistic missiles. And no, Trump's negotiation wasn't like Obama going to Cuba either. Trump didn't go to a baseball game with a communist dictator like Obama did with Castro. Obama had no reason to pal around with the tyrant. Cuba wasn't a national security threat and we got nothing in return for opening relations with Cuba. Plus, Cuba hasn't stopped any of their human rights abuses since the relations opened. See, the thing is, liberals just can't admit when President Trump does something good. Liberals pretend to have expectations, unrealistic expectations, of this being the only summit so they can act disappointed when Trump didn't achieve everything in one 45-minute meeting. But it's a good start. And while we don't know what will happen in the next summit, a good start is exactly what this summit was intended to be. And the credit for that goes to President Trump. And that is my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you liked the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.